With all the recent Metro North mess, state leaders are looking to clean it up with federal intervention by calling on the government to hold the rail service accountable. Metro North has been like a horror movie for the past year. A horror movie brought to life. Just last year, Metro North had a derailment in the Bronx resulting in four fatalities and a collision near Bridgeport causing over 70 injuries. This, coupled with electrical problems, long-term delays and service shutdowns, has state legislators speaking out. The situation continues to get worse and worse and worse. State leaders voiced their concerns at a press conference in Hartford Monday. They also signed a letter urging federal and Metro North officials to take action. Legislators say a 60-year contract with the rail service has the state's hands tied. This contract we have with Metro North actually holds Connecticut hostage. There is no leverage that the state has to make Metro North do what it ought to be doing. Local leaders further expressed their concerns at the Fairfield Metro Station later Monday. In the past, it's always been a situation where people had confidence and a belief that they were going to get there safely. That has not been the case lately. That derailment, like, that's real scary stuff right there. I am concerned of my safety, and especially with the weather today, sometimes I would prefer to take a car. And safety isn't the only thing that concerns some of the 40 million passengers who take the New Haven line each year. The fact that the train stopped running at 2 in the morning, I mean, I feel that they should run 24 hours a day. They are now upcharging, and as of the new year, the prices went up, and I just... It hasn't accommodated anybody, really. The trains are very crowded, and I recently heard them talking about trying to increase ridership, which I find interesting because it's hard to find a seat on the train. The delays are ridiculous. Like right now, i got to catch a 314 and past E14. Legislators say the problem isn't just with Metro North. On Sunday, Governor Malloy announced a $10 million plan to upgrade the electric infrastructure of the New Haven line, but leaders say the state needs to do more. There are four rail bridges along the Metro North line between New Haven and Greenwich that are over 100 years old, have all failed inspections. There needs to be more funding, probably you know, upwards of a, of a billion dollars, really, to modernize both the main New Haven line and the branch lines. Samantha McKelvey, it's Relevant.com.